Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV. This is Stu Jones, and we're up in the FPC helicopter flying over the Mule Keys near Key West, heading for Boca Grande Key, where nearly 200 power boats are in the middle of a big beach rendezvous party. It's all part of Florida Powerboat Club's 21st annual Key West Poker Run, which brings boaters from the United States, Canada, South America, and Europe every November for this horsepower-charged week of fun. But it's not just powerboats attending. Big yachts like Jim Leonardo's 115-foot Baglietto called Pure Insanity are a common sight on this Poker Run event, and this rendezvous in paradise is the one place you can be sure to find many of them. But there's still boats arriving, and here's Derek Wakab from Oklahoma and his crew on board this Cigarette 42-foot Huntress. And count them, that's one, two, three, four, five Mercury Verados at 350 horse each. Here's a high-performance cigarette. This is Lad Spring and his 42X called Spring Break 2. It's rigged with Mercury Racing 1350s. More on that. Let's get back to the Poker Run Village. Well, since we were talking about from uh, mild to wild, we're going to carry that theme through here at the Mercury Racing uh, mobile unit. Um, let's talk about these engines on display. Certainly, uh, always, always developing new product at Mercury Racing. Uh, I'm excited to see this 520. I want to see a lot of guys, entry-level guys, putting this engine in their boat. They went for some bigger displacement. They went from the 8.2 liter engine to an 8.6 block. They got some uh, electronic fuel injection, a two-year warranty on the, on the um, on the engine, and uh, it's it's a DTS engine too, which is basically what the big power has. The 1100s and the 1350s have the DTS. It's going to make this really the the, the revol This is going to revolutionize really the the entry level 32, 36 foot, 38 foot boats, cats and V's. A two year warranty, 87 octane. Yeah, 87 octane. You got to love that. Right behind me now, though, you got the big stuff, okay? You take a 1350 and you start running that 1350 on race fuel, what do you get? You get a 1650. Competition only engine because it's got a lot of horsepower. 1650 horsepower, you put that in a 40 foot MTI, you're going to go about 200. <laughs> so, naturally, a competition motor, of course, the MA drive. It's all about high performance here in the Poker Run Village, but it's not necessarily meaning power boats. We've got some four-legged variety here uh, in this private collection. One of our club members brought three of his personal cars all the way from Oklahoma to put them here on display. This is an Intimidator, obviously modeled after Dale Earnhardt and his, uh, his fabulous career. And Chevrolet came up with this Intimidator. It's a full-on race car. Uh, it's over 700 horsepower, a racing suspension, and I believe there's only really a couple of these things ever made. Moving along the line here, this is the, this is the Dale Earnhardt Hall of Fame edition. Again, a very limited edition Camaro that was built when Dale was inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Now over here, this is the real prize collection. This is uh, the actual car that, uh, that Dale Earnhardt used and drove for his seventh championship, NASCAR championship title. The actual car that got him his seventh title. For anybody that's into NASCAR, this is an amazing car to have here at the Poker Run Village. I want to thank our club member. He'll remain anonymous on this particular show, but if you're in the Florida Powerboat Club, you know who he is. We're back over Boca Grande Key again, and the fleet is growing by the minute, as over 200 boats have gathered for the rendezvous. And it's amazing to see just so many types of boats that are coming to these events. Just look at the variety of high-performance hardware that's lining the sandy beach. And more and more, there's power boaters that are stepping up their boating lifestyle to include a yacht or a yacht charter for their Key West trip. And the Florida Fractional Club is making this possible for many of our club members. This 55 azimuth called Ohana belongs to Dave and Lori Postel. It's their maiden poker run. They just took delivery from Marine Max about a week before the poker run. Here's Yacht Mia with Mark Palanchian and his crew enjoying the day. This is a first class way to enjoy the poker run and they've got a full crew on board just sitting back, taking it all in as they can look out over Boca Grande. They have all the creature comforts on the yacht, but when it's time to hit the beach party, they even have a tender to get you there. With this fantastic weather we were having, the beach party was wide open throttle, and you won't find a bigger collection of cool boats and fun-loving people anywhere. 
This party's been happening for over 15 years, and I would say that for the Key West Poker Run, this is really one of the big highlights of the event that truly makes it the Florida Powerboat Club's signature poker run. We'll continue our highlights of the Key West Offshore Poker Run when Power Boating in Paradise TV returns. So stay glued to your chair. We'll be right back. Hey, wait a minute. I know that face. It's not your everyday face, but I know it. It's a face of joy, of calm, a face of exhilaration, even surprise. Oh, I know where I've seen that face. Welcome to the water. Step into boating with our free DVD at discoverboating.com.